What's going on YouTube? This is obviously IBM with Comic Book Aficionados. Now I know you're wondering, where's the studio? Where's the beautiful comic book background? I just had to let you know, this is the underground, the points that the comic book community wanted to hear, but you know, you don't ever see it played up enough. So of course, IBM has to point something out that I believe is true. Professor X equals terrorism. Now, I know you're going to look and be like, again, the mutant cause is a good cause, but he's kind of a guy who comes in his wheelchair, goes, you know what, your child has special abilities and I would like to bring them to my school, which is a compound. Remember that. It is a compound who he doesn't just bring anybody. I'd like to bring them to my school and then train them up and to do this and fight for the mutant cause. Now, not to say that other organizations say the same thing, but they do kind of have the same outline. And on top of that, he stays in his wheelchair, even though we've seen mutants with magical healing abilities. I mean, Elixir grew a heart from nothing. But, of course, Professor X stays paralyzed because he has to keep that image. He has to keep the image of the foreboding professor with the amazing psychic abilities that just runs a school. But let's be honest. You took five kids. You made them fight Magneto. I mean, Iceman was probably 14 throwing snowballs at Magneto. Now, you know, I, as a tactician, that's absolutely perfect. I, too, would have child soldiers. It's very hard to shoot a kid. You're not going to shoot a kid who doesn't really know what he's doing. But, at the end of the day, it still equals terrorism. Because every other terrorist uses children and child soldiers. IBM out. Professor X is a terrorist. Y'all just need to know.